Hi everyone, this is Daryl from Overmark. March holidays are here. If you still do not have a solid plan, the one week is going to fly by a lot faster than you think. So in today's video, let me share with you how you can make the best out of your March holidays. Naturally, during March holidays, you will have a lot of CCA commitments and some schools might even call you back to attend extra remedials or extra lessons. But regardless, you should still try and utilize the remaining available time to reorganize what you have learned in Term 1 and to make preparation for Term 2. Now, the first thing you need to do is to actually consolidate all of your content and key learnings from Term 1. During Term 1, you will have started on new topics and probably had your WA1 or TA1. It is really important that you review your test results and to identify key areas of weaknesses. This might pertain to specific topics or even specific concepts within the topics itself. You need to spend some time to understand where you went wrong and to seek clarity. Otherwise, the concept will continue to be foreign to you and it might become instead a permanent area of weakness if left unaddressed. You need to realize that one term two begins, a new set of topics will be taught and you will have barely enough time to catch up with the new content. March holiday is the perfect short break for you to consolidate your learnings in term one before you start on term two. I also suggest that you look at questions that you did wrongly from your worksheets or tests and to go through the corrections again. You can even reattempt the questions without referencing the answer to see if you can get it right. I also suggest that you bring up your topical TIS for extra practices. You can spot similar questions that you previously failed to solve and to try and see if you can actually complete them now. Your topical TYS is really important as it introduces you to how your questions will be set at O levels and A levels. It is important to simultaneously complete your topical TYS as your school cover the topic. If you are really lagging behind, March holiday is a perfect chance for you to catch up on those TYS practices for the topics that have already been covered. In case nobody told you before, most school papers and tests are actually set from TOS questions itself as schools will attempt to mirror how Cambridge sets the questions. Hence, with sufficient practice, you might actually start to find certain questions starting to look a lot more familiar. Even if you can only afford to review maybe 2-3 to three topics per day, I still encourage you to do so as 2-3 to three topics over March holidays will eventually end up to more than 10 topics. Your future self will thank you when you sit for your prelims and your end of year exam. The second thing I'll encourage you to do is to pre-read the new topics that are going to be taught in Term 2. I won't really go into detail, but maybe spend more time exploring the surface of the topic. I'll identify certain doubts that I might have and mark them down. This ensures that when you learn a new topic in school, you're actually actively anticipating and addressing the questions you might have. This is more so for keywords intensive subjects like biology, where memorizing terminologies ahead of time would really help. This ensures that learning the new content can be more smooth sailing and you'll actually be able to retain the new content as it will be the second time you're going through it. Pre-reading the content before class is so underrated and students really need to know that instead of being passively taught new content for the first time in school, your learning can be accelerated so much more if the first time you study the content is actually on your own. Because when you do so, it allows for more exploration and deep thinking. You can then use the actual lesson in school to reinforce certain concepts and clarify your doubts. This allows knowledge to be retained much better and it will help you out immensely in the long run. The third and final thing I'll advise you to do is to actually reorganize yourself and set new goals for Term 2. Take just a short moment to reflect on how Term 1 went and what went well versus what didn't go so well. Review the processes of how you did your learning and find important areas where you can actually make improvement on. This could be in any form, such as sleeping earlier at night, focusing more in class, preparing for your test earlier, or even something as simple as handing up your homework on time. The thing with hectic school schedules is that we often don't pause to think and review how we can improve on our processes. We just blindly dive into things and often fail to realize that there's actually many habits and behaviors that are actually slowing us down. I don't fully advocate for studying intensely like clogging many hours unnecessarily as prolonged hours actually greatly reduces our productivity and our brain can't absorb that much information all at once anyway. But what I'm a big fan of is being deliberate and staying focused. I believe that if we are clear with our intentions such as the learning outcomes in terms of what we intend to achieve and staying extremely focused on the task at hand, we can actually be able to achieve so much more in a short span of time. As I always say, work smart, not work hard. But working smart also means recognizing the importance of working consistently. As we always say, slow and steady wins the race. 
So in summary, the three things you'll need to accomplish this March holidays is number one, to review the content you have learned in term one. Secondly, do some pre-reading of the upcoming topics in term two. And lastly, take a moment to reflect on how you can do better, improving from your mistakes in term one. March holidays is going to be over sooner than you know it, so make the best out of your time and your future self will actually thank you for the choices that you make today. If you enjoyed the video, please drop us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational content in the future, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye!